Hello YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here uh, after doing some checking and you know a little bit of reading and all this other stuff. I'm starting to think maybe, maybe perhaps a person should tilt their GMRS Chewy radio antenna. Of course, I'm talking like a base station or, or a repeater antenna, um, especially if there's a certain area you're trying to hit, um, because it seems like the pattern. If you look at this pattern here quick, this is a quarter wave. You see how the lobes are? They kind of go out a little bit and they kind of they start to go up. So if you have a situation like this, um, and you can see here, this is like a building, let's say, and let's say this is the antenna, the one up here. And if you have a, another antenna down here, as you can see, when the antenna is 90 degrees up and down, the the lobes, of course, obviously the lobes are going to be much bigger than what's shown here, but you kind of get the point. The lobes start to go out and they start to kind of go up. They start to curve up. So what happens if you were to tilt that antenna a little bit to this, to like this? Yes, this may be extreme in this diagram, but you get the point. That's going to change your lobes. That's going to change the direction of your lobes. So that may help your reception. So upon doing some more checking, there is websites and I'll post some of these that let you calculate the antenna downward tilt. And like I said before, I was kind of talking about the lobes. You see how when they when this antenna is tilted just a little bit, how the lobes change. So maybe by doing that, we may be able to increase our range to a certain point. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to double your range or nothing like that, but it may help. Let's say one area, maybe you're a little sketchy and you just kind of tilt that antenna just slightly because some of these numbers, when you enter them, and I'll post links to these websites so you guys can play with it, but like antenna base height, how many feet, remote, that means the receive antenna or the antenna you're trying to get to, the distance between antennas, and you can play with this, and it, this will tell you the downward angle um, tilt on it. Now, yes, this is, you know, 0 0.068. Obviously, it's very, you know, very small. But if you're playing with different antenna heights, um, you know, uh, you know, different, even, even the antenna, you know, that's on the ground, too, can make a difference. Let's say that's 10 feet. Let's say it's a base station, you know, whatever. Uh, distance between the antennas, 20, you know, 15, oh, this is in miles. So, you know, you, you get to kind of play with it and kind of see where you're at. Here's one website. The other website, this one right here, um, kind of gives you how many, you know, if you're at zero degrees, how, the main lobe, uh, how many miles. You know, of course, now these websites may not, you know, take in consideration the frequency. Uh, maybe these websites are more meant for like a, uh, like a beam antenna, more of a directional antenna. But I still really think just by looking at these lobes, even when you have a all-directional omni antenna, look at these lobes. I mean, it just you would think just by tilting that antenna a little bit, that's going to make that lobe kind of go out a little bit further. Yeah, it might, it might affect over here, though, on this side when you do that, because that's going to raise this lobe up. But maybe on the back side, you don't need that you know, type of uh, reception to be as good. You know, so it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you know, uh, I just saw I kind of mention it, see what people think. Um, but I'll post the links to, to this website, this website. There's a whole bunch of them. You type, if you type in uh, down or antenna, what did I type in? Antenna downward tilt calculator or something like that, you'll get a whole bunch of different websites. I'll post a, a couple of these, and then I'll also post the, the antenna pattern. Um, this one I got, I was been talking about the quarter wave. I obviously copied that graph and I used it here. This is the quarter wave, just to let you know that. But I think if you just, just you know, just think about it. Picture that lobe at an angle. I think it's going to reach better. Yeah, you might suffer over here, but maybe you don't need to worry about it. The backside per se. You know, something to think about. Maybe I'll try to do some testing on this theory. I'm not sure quite. How I'm going to have to make a bracket that I can adjust easily, um, but something to think about in the future. Another, you know, possibility some more distance test videos. Um, you know, see what happens. Uh, but at any rate, uh, 
If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Please subscribe, and thank you, and have a good day.